What is up guys? I wanted to give you guys a little review on the Geo CS1 by Planet Eclipse. Wanted to dig right in here. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been able to do a uh, review since the DM15. So, I wanted to show you guys what was what. Let's start with the case. Case seems more solid. It's newer looking. Feels more solid. I don't know if that's just because it's new. Because I like new things. But I think it's exceptional. Hard case. Never have to worry about anything. It's great. When you open up the uh, when you open up the case, the first thing that you're gonna see is the manual. Like I said before, manual is a manual is a always great to read through these just to know what is what with your gun where everything might be settings exactly what planet eclipse did was they put everything you need to do everything you need to know on their youtube channel to make it a little more uh helpful for people because you know no one wants to read so what else do we have here? Uh, it comes with, of course, your Planet Eclipse uh, grease, which is always helpful. The soft-faced bolt. You have, of course, your barrel sock, barrel condom, however you want to call it. You got your, if I can even get it out. have your get out of there all right whatever you guys know what it looks like plan the clips allen keys which now I'm kind of determined to get out cuz there we go cuz I'm awesome and I win next we have the big bag of o-rings not big bag little bag with many 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 little bags two uh, soft faced tip Bolt things. I'm always jumbling up my words when I have to say that. And the best part of it is the gun. The gun comes in the case. Who would have figured? Planet Eclipse GOCS1 uh, LTD Ice. Beautiful looking gun. I said when this thing first came out, I was like, damn, that's ugly. But after uh, staring at it for like weeks, or I should say just like five days straight, because that's how long it took before I had to pre-order this, um, this thing is amazing. Uh, first, let me let anyone know who's watching this who's worried about the bulkiness. I'm going to go over what you guys have worries about, because I've read it on the PB Nation and wherever else you guys might have been, I don't know, worried about. Uh, some people say that this is bulky. I mean, it's not. It's, I'm trying to like, you know, feel you here, but it's not. It's perfectly perfect for the grip. It's not too thin. It's perfect grip for my hand. Uh, front grip is awesome. I have big hands, and you can already see there's just a lot of space. You know, because if you grip it like this, there's just, you're never going to touch your hand to this trigger guard ever. You're you're set. Uh, some people are worried about this from slipping out. Um, Alright, look. I would like to consider myself a strong person, but if I'm holding this like this and I'm pulling down as hard as I can, this thing is not coming off, especially during play. The only way this is coming off is if you grip this and you pull and that comes off. And there it is. Now, before I get into heat, I haven't had a chance to exchange the batteries because I just got this yesterday. Um, I'm going to pop some Duracells in there a second at the store. But this is not moving. This is very, very, very solid. This is not moving anywhere. For people who's worried about, oh, what if I dive? And somehow I dive into cement and I snap this. Well, uh, Jack Wood said if you somehow do that like somehow he'll fix it for free he'll send you another gun or whatever he said he he's like I'd give you a million dollars it won't break 
Um, it's like, you know, boom, it's in. Easy, easy in and out. Um, the bolt is, well, first of all, the trigger is also different. I think they called it like a horseshoe trigger. I think that's what they called it. Super comfortable, super awesome. Uh, the bolt is, I think what I heard was the same as the 3.5 and the GSL, but they, um, here, let's see if I can, I just greased this too. I should have waited. It's okay. I'll show you guys. That's how nice I am. I will get my hands dirty to show you guys what's what. Okay. So, they cut these little triangles out to add more um, airflow through the can, which I guess gives you a uh, softer shot. But I think what the main thing is with that soft shot is the uh, the more added room in the in here where the bolt sits it's more spacious so I guess someone asked uh, can you put this bolt in a 3.5 or a GSL or whatever and I think his response was maybe but don't do it because it's not what it was meant for and it won't change anything so for all of you guys trying to uh, be weird, don't be weird. Okay, there's the bolt. Um, of course, like every other Geo, it has the SFR adjustment. Uh, this one needs an Allen key. You put it in there and turn it. I have mine set to the 3 o'clock position for the softest shot. You put it at the 12 o'clock position. It's for the fastest, faster rate of fire. I uh, some people put it midway. I like it the softest it can be. Because um, that's just who I am. Uh, it has the uh, screen, like every other Geo. This one is uh, magnified. So if I put it up to the uh, thing, you can kind of see those like little black things, which actually doesn't show in real life. It's just kind of a weird camera thing that's going on. But it looks awesome. I mean, I'll turn it on. It's going to look kind of weird. Yeah, I knew it. But just know it looks awesome. It doesn't look like, like this. Like it's all weird on camera. Alright. Um, what else is different? Uh, of course, the barrel. Uh, you got the uh, pro tip barrel with the new Shaft 5 uh, back. I think it comes standard at 6, 8, 9. I think Planet Eclipse does it. I'm. Um, yeah, 689. And then I think uh, Dida 688. Whichever you prefer. Uh, underboring, overboring, your choice. Uh, new Pops design. That was another thing I wanted to say. Read your manual because I read it last night. I knew to adjust my um, velocity through here through here and you can see right here's the plus and right here's the minus to adjust that accordingly so you know no one's sitting there trying to poke a hole through this plastic or I can't adjust it or don't look like a fool out there because that's no bueno um, the gun is amazing I am a huge fan of die my whole life. I shot an LV1 and I loved the way Planet Eclipse did their 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 markers and when this came out I had to pick it over the M2 um for a number of reasons maybe some of you might not see the same as I did but uh efficiency is a big thing to me. I'm not going to be shooting more than 11 pods is what I think Greenspan got on his unofficial air efficiency test but uh, I don't know die the M2 got I think it was like nine or ten pods I watch a lot of Chris noting C notings on YouTube his videos uh, he's the one who actually got me super obsessed with die 
which is funny enough, but I had to pick this one up. Um, it's just so comfortable in the hands. Uh, I love the sound signature. I actually took this out today, uh, SC Village, for the first time uh, after getting this yesterday, and it performed flawlessly. You know, I took it over the Chrono 285, 287, 284. It was amazing. Those were the first shots, you know, out of the box, uh, basically. Um, it shot, I shot year old paint today, and it was on point. So this thing is definitely amazing. I let some people on the field shoot it. And they said that it felt like their Lux. Uh, for a gun to shoot like a Lux, I've never, like I said, I've never shot a Lux, but I know it's in the top two contenders of smoothness out of the box. That's pretty impressive. And to have the efficiency it has and the reliability, I don't know how anyone can go wrong with this marker. Um, looks great, you know, when you get it in person. It's amazing. I don't know if you guys can really. Uh, tell, but by far the my favorite marker I've ever owned. I'm never getting rid of this thing. This thing is going to be in my possession forever. Now that I say that, imagine three years from now I'm going to get shit like, "Where's your SU one?" I'm like, "Oh, I sold it for die DM die M five." By then, if they're gonna. You're gonna keep doing that. I hear they're not doing yearly releases. Anyway, staying on point. Um, amazing marker. For those of you who don't want to shell out uh, the 1600 for this marker, 3.5s have gone down to 1249, I think. Don't quote me on that. On NS gear or Critical Paintball. Uh, Critical Paintball you know, has some great markers, uh, you know, nice guys, uh, up in Northridge, I don't know if you guys live in the Los Angeles area, uh, I'm not a big fan of ANS. um, I picked up this marker from, uh, PB Wizard, they were nice enough to give me a great deal on this, if you guys, you know, want some great deals on guns, those guys are on top of their stuff, uh, calling me all the time about the order, they were actually nice enough to call me and tell me that this color wasn't in stock for another couple weeks. I got another color shipped down to me. I head over to Critical Paintball and they were nice enough to actually exchange the color for me for this one, for the one that they actually had. So two amazing places to go if you guys, you know, want to go locally, Critical Paintball, Northridge, amazing guys, uh, you know, or if you guys live in the East, East Coast area, Boston, uh, Dealer's Choice, PB Wizard, there's some great dudes there, uh, and gals, I don't know, I'm not discriminating, I don't know if there's girls who work there, but you know what I mean. Um, great gun. Go try one, if you can, shoot it, buy it, just, yes, yes. Anyway, uh, I hope, you know, this entertained the majority of whoever's watching this. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to do a shooting video in the next couple days if you guys want to see that. If not, don't see it. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and tune in to Daily PB Review soon. And subscribe if you want, but you don't have to, but you should. So, do it. Thanks, guys.